Hi everyone, I am Achal. Thanks for watching out this video today. As in our previous video, we had a discussion regarding the front end of the Shopify mobile app. In this video tutorial, we will be going to discuss about the back end configuration of the Shopify mobile app. Like how you can able to manage the features and functionality from the back end and how it will going to appear on the front end. Before proceeding ahead, I would request you to please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon button to get more updates. So let me take you to the back end of the Shopify. As you can see here, I have successfully logged in into my Shopify account. Once you logged in into your Shopify account, then you will get uh, some features into the left navigation. Like here you can able to see and in this left navigation, you can also able to see this app section. You just need to tap over there and you just need to write down the name of this Shopify mobile app. As I have already installed this application, so it will appear in the left navigation. You just need to write down the app name over here and just press over the install button. Once you have installed the application, then it will going to appear inside the sales channel of, of your Shopify backend. Now, let me take you to the configuration part as well. As here, we are having multiple options like page builder, push notification, product review, integration, configuration, mobile app and etc. We will going to discuss all of them one by one. Like first, we are having this page builder feature. As you can able to see in the page builder feature, we are having different card types from where you can set your products into the different card types and it will going to appear on the screen of your mobile app. As here you are, you can able to see we are having builder components, carousel, slider, banner, simple banner, grid, list and product slider you can able to create different type of cards you just need to drag and down inside this mobile application and accordingly you can able to work you can able to see the same on your mobile screen here you are also having search options like uh, you can uh, able to press over this show title view all link configurations and here from here you can also select the categories as i have pressed over the uh, category type and i have pressed over that ar product and just need to press over that add accordingly the product will be added now i am also going to add the product as here you can able to see I have select this product and just need to tap over that add button. Accordingly you can able to see like I have added this product. If you want to remove or edit the product you can also do the same from here as well. Once you have added item into the different card types accordingly you just need to press over that save button. Okay. You can able to see like I have press over the save button and you will accordingly get a pop up message like card add successfully and you can able to see the same over the uh, screen of your mobile application. So this is all about our page builder option. Next we are having the mobile drawer. From here you can add the items into the menu like i have created multi multiple menu over here like sales uh, what's new likewise you can able to create different menu types and accordingly you can uh, able to select those products with the help of menus as well if you want to translate then you can also do the same from here Next, we are having the push notification feature. By using this notification feature, you can send the instant notification to your customers. As here, you can able to create the new notifications as well as I have already created. And uh, if you want, then you can also edit or delete the notifications as well. If you want to create the new notification, you just need to press over there 
and accordingly you will get a pop-up message like here uh, along with the notification details like you need to mention the title over here and the message which you want to send to your customers and accordingly you can also able to select the redirection page of that particular notification from the drop down and from here you can also select the customer like if you want to only notify your specific customer then you can able to select the specific customers and if you want to uh, convey that message to all of your customers then you can able to select the all customer option from here and accordingly you can also upload image and then just need to press over the save button once done then it will going to appear over here next we are having the product review feature as here you can able to see the customer reviews over a particular product and here you can able to see the list of reviews and from here you can also able to find select all if you want to delete those reviews then you can able to delete the same from that particular button if you want to mark as a pending approved or disapproved you can able to do the same by just press over that particular button and if you want to reply over that particular review then you can also able to do the same from the back end as we are having a feature we are having a button available over here that is reply it's all about you like what uh, action you want to perform over that particular review accordingly you can able to do the same from the back end of your shopify account next we are moving ahead with the integrations here we are having different kind of integrations like you can able to see mobicool multi vendor connector push notification social login booking app connector wish list connector etc some of them are paid and some of them are free to use and in the right, uh, right corner you are having this configuration app like how you can able to configure these integrations from the back end of your shopify next we are moving ahead with the configuration part of this shopify mobile app here you can able to see we are having different configurations app settings like general configuration product filter push notification themes and many more let me take you to the all the app settings one by one like in the general settings you will get complete whole to to customize your store like how it look like and how it will behave like in the first section you can able to see account login settings you can set the actions on checkout from here as you can able to see we are having different options account are disabled account are optional and accounts are required in the in the, the next option we are having number of digit after decimal in price you can set the same from here like you want pricing in two digits or three digits it is up to you after that you just need to press over the save button accordingly the journal settings will work over the shopify mobile app as you can able to see we are having different app settings like here from you can able to see we are having push notification settings from here you just need to enter your firebase sender id sender key application public server key and application private server key accordingly you can able to manage all your push notifications and here you can able to manage the theme settings of your mobile app as well like from as you can able to see you can change the button color theme color button text color and also upload the image and you can also remove the logo from here and after applying all these changes you just need to press over the save button now moving ahead you will get the google map settings from here you can manage your google map settings to integrate with the map as here you can see we are having a option of auto publish product as well if you want this sales channel then you just need to activate the settings and accordingly it will going to appear if you want to deactivate the same then you can do the same from here as well next we are having product review and rating 
section settings when you can by using this product review and ratings you can manage your products to integrate with your shopify store as well and here we are having a option of multilingual support like from here if you want to switch the default language of the shopify then you can able to do the same from the multilingual support as well and here you can also able to get the option of disable or remove the particular language i hope we have covered all the app setting configuration section now moving ahead we are having another option that is mobile app from here you can able to see you can get the qr code for both the devices android and for ios as well you just need to scan that qr code and accordingly you can able to install the application and accordingly you can use the application by entering the unique id of your mobile app next we are having an option of plans as here you can able to see we are having different plans like uh, we are having a base plan of dollar 25 and we are having another plan of dollar 35 along with that the features may vary as in dollar uh, 35 subscription you are getting more features as compared to the basic plan now next we are having the cms page option from here you can able to create your cms page as well as here you can see in the right corner we are having an option of add new cms page you just need to press over there and accordingly you will get a pop up like you just need to enter your page name and just need to enter your page url and accordingly you just need to press over that active button and just need to save as i have already added some cms pages as you can able to see contact us and privacy policy i have already added that's why it the we will get a complete list of our cms page which i have already added into my mobile application now in the next section we are having an option of help now from here customer like uh, customer can able to fill out the details like name email request for and can also able to drop their messages and just need to press over the send message accordingly the client queries is come to us and accordingly we will uh, provide the solution over their particular queries next we are having the faqs from here you can set your faqs as well like i have created some faqs so that it will help your customers to get more about the mobile application so that's all about the back end configuration of this shopify mobile app if still you are having any kind of concern or queries you can reach us at support@webcool.com or you can also raise a ticket from the webcool.uvdesk.com i hope you liked our video if so then i would request you to please give us a big thumbs up thanks for watching this video have a great day ahead